All right, Tim, the heat means people are cranking the AC and we're keeping a close eye on the power grid. Here's the latest data from ERCOT. Uh, we're going to see the supply and the demand line. Of course, if that gap shrinks, the power can go out. Now, one of the things keeping that gap in place is power from wind and solar farms. An expert from Rice University tells us just how big of a role these sources play in keeping our energy supply up and what we need to do to rely more on these renewable resources. How are wind and solar farms essentially helping keep the lights on in Texas? If it hadn't been for the tremendous growth we had had, in, especially in solar, the past few years, we would have already been experiencing rolling blackouts, even with that heat wave we got in May, and really can't imagine how the grid would handle this week's heat wave. Texas leads the nation in wind power generation. It makes up about 20% of the state's energy usage. And Daniel Cohan says that's because of a major push made several years ago toward identifying competitive renewable energy zones. So the state uh, got all sides together and made a plan where there was about $7 billion of investments in transmission lines, more than any other state was doing at the time, and so the wind boom that we've had was made possible by, by that foresight, by that innovative program. But the building of transmission lines has slowed significantly over the years, preventing the state from fully harnessing wind and solar energy to help the state's troubled power grid. So as fast as we're growing, we could be growing even faster if we had um, a new round of, of lines built. As we head into even hotter summer months, Cohan assures us it's unlikely we'll see the prolonged power outages we experienced in February 2021. But Texans will feel the pain another way. And already, you know, typical rates for electricity have jumped from around 11 cents up to 18 cents. So, you know, talking 60, 70 percent spikes in uh, in people's power prices. So, you know, I think that's really going to hit with our air conditioners running, uh, running at full blast as we keep getting these heat waves.